Welcome back, everyone, to The Coach Approach. It's your coach, Blake of the Black Faker, and today, 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 hey, hey, I don't know why I do that, but I do. I'm energetic. I'm sorry. We're going to be going over what roles are the best to duo with. So maybe you got a friend and you guys play together and you're like, oh my gosh, every time we play, we do well, but we always lose. Maybe that's the case. Sometimes that is the case, but it might not be because of you guys. It could just be the roles. It could be what you play together. That's probably why you're not caring. You never know. You never know. So with that in mind, I'm going to be going over what roles are the best to play with. That way you guys can get a little bit of edge. Can you do it with all roles? Certainly. But are there better combinations? Certainly. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's talk about it. All right, before we get started, there's always a before we get started, Avery. Why don't you just freaking talk about the video? Look, it's important. Listen to me and listen to me now or else I'm coming to visit you. Okay, so if, and if we do visit, I would like to have a cup of coffee. I'm not gonna do nothing dangerous. I'm just saying we can hang out. I need friends. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. What we wanna do is, what we wanna do, what I'm explaining to you, there's gonna be something new for Patreons and for YouTube watchers next month. Something special for both, for, for, for both parties. But within this month, if you become a Patreon within this month, you will be able to get a um, a free VOD with me. Now, what is that? Where you just watch my video and record it? And then, no, no, no. A free VOD with me is we will go on call and we will look at a VOD you select and we'll go over it together and I'll write notes and whatnot. You can use it or you can give it to a friend. Maybe one, maybe one of your friends suck and you're like, hey, you need help. Here's Coach Blake. It's kind of like a half coaching session. It's not actually a coaching session. I mean, and when I say half, I do need time, but it also means what I teach, so to speak, because uh, coaching sessions, a little bit more of I'm working with you and stuff like that. This is just a VOD that we're looking at and we're talking about it together. So it's not really a coaching session, but it's kind of like half. Yeah. But regardless, um, if you guys become a Patreon within this month, you guys can get that. The reason why I'm doing that is because I know I haven't uploaded many videos to Patreon this month, and I do apologize for that, but I do want to try to get back for you guys that are supporting me. So I do appreciate that. So you guys that are already Patreons, get this reward. Um, and then you guys that want to become Patreons, it only costs five bucks to become a Patreon. If you guys don't want to become a Patreon, it's all right. I do appreciate you guys watching my videos. Anyway, I'm just saying you guys could get this. That does not mean you have to be a Patreon next month. You can just get the Patreon this month, get that thing, and then unsubs unsubscribe next month. I'm perfectly fine with that. But this is just for people this month. And if you guys want to hop in on it, feel free. Next month, though, there's going to be a new schedule for Patreon and some new uploads. And I think you guys are going to be very, very excited about that. And I will reveal that next month as far as youtubers same thing there's gonna be something special for you guys too so you know you guys aren't out i'm not gonna be like oh well i have to pay blaker to get help this sucks no because i know some of you guys can't afford it especially during this time um and even if you guys can't afford it some of you guys don't want to spend it on it and i i agree you know at the, at the end of the day you know if you're playing league of legends for fun by all means you know just chill have fun watch my videos nice to meet you if you're playing to be serious and become better and not be like a normie pay me i'm just saying and i'm sorry <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm sorry. Anyway, this is the guy that coaches people. I know. I'm sorry. Let's get to the video. <laughs> All right. So the combinations between uh, these champion or these these roles here are what we're going to talk about. You know what roles are better to do it with. I have an account for every single role, not only because I want to be able to understand what the role is like and how they climb and the struggles that they go through, basically walking a mile in someone's shoes because it's very very important. I can't be maybe like a, a diamond master challenge or whatever on one role and then think I can coach another role when I don't even play it. It doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? There's basic knowledge that you should know about the role, but it doesn't mean you know how to do it in depth. And that's why I have these other accounts because I want to know how to do it in depth. With that being said, I do it with a fair amount of combinations and I'm fairly certain I know which ones are the better pick to pick together. So we'll start with jungle and then we'll continue to go all, all the way down, okay? I'll only start with jungle because jungle's easiest. So a jungle, if you're the carry as a jungle, so what is a carry in the jungle? A carry in the jungle, Stuff like Graves, Hecarim, um, Kindred, Nocturne, you know, the things that do a lot of damage that can carry a game really, really easily. I'm not really talking about the things that will fall off, like Lee Sin, at least. It's a little different, but you can still make that work. But I'm just saying the more late game oriented your carry is, the better it is. So which one's um, better to do with the support? If you could play a carry in the jungle, especially one that scales extremely late, the support is your best friend. Even if you're early game, the support is your best friend. Why? Because you can pretty much have a command piece on the map ready to move, right? And it doesn't cost them their lane. So if I want to invade top, but my top laner is like, I'm shut, kind of like right now, my top laner is shoved up, he can't help me if he's Camille. 
But a support, it doesn't matter. Support can leave, not really lose much. Yeah, the ADC can be in trouble, but ping them back, let them be safe and they can make something happen for you. They can also go ward and not lose anything. They're not tied down to CS. And it's very, very important to be able to have something like that on command ready to go with you, especially when you're an early game jungler that likes to snowball and likes to take that lead. So I definitely think if you're the carry jungler, duo with the support. Now, what, what if I don't play carries? What if I play Rammus? What if I play Zac? What if I play Nunu? The best thing to play with when you're playing with those champs that aren't carries, but just, you know, those bruiser tanky junglers where it's like, I'm just supporting the team here. Any role with a carry. So top with a carry, mid with a carry, ADC obviously is always carries. So that's what you want to do, right? And when we're saying mid like Galio, that's not a carry. That's just Galio, right? When we're saying stuff like Malphite top, that's not a carry. You want stuff like Darius, you want stuff like Garen, you want stuff like Aatrox, Riven, Syndra, Talon, Zed, like the carries are the ones you wanna to play to. So it really doesn't matter. If you're if you're the carry jungle, play with the support. If you're that Graves, Hecarim, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you're not the carry jungler, Rammus, Zag, Malphite, um, whatever you decide to play as a tank or a bruiser or whatever in there that doesn't really do much except help the team, then uh, you would you would do it with any role that actually has a carry in it, okay? As I said before, it doesn't matter who you do it with as long as you guys are having fun, but if you guys want the best results, that's what I think is the best results. Next is top. So with top, a little iffy sometimes. Um, if you're the carry top, as I said, well, if you're the carry with anything, you're going to be dealing with a jungler. I mean, that is kind of clear, but I'll always restate it just so we're on the same page. So if you're the carry champion top, like I said, the Ribbon, the Aatrox, the Darius, the Garen, you know, that type of stuff, do it with a jungler. Why? Because that person can get you and make sure you're fed. If you trust them, you can, you know, they'll make sure you're fed every single time. You set up the wave fine, the jungler comes, kills them. Okay, so whatever, play, play, set up the wave fine, jungler comes, kill them. You can just easily have free ganks like that and go ahead and have your top laner be a fan. And if the jungle is a carry jungler too, that's two carries fed. That's even better, right? We can get the top laner out of lane, go ahead and rotate around the map, get stuff for free. It's very, very cool. Um, if you're not the carry top, like let's say we're playing Malachi top, Malphite top, Volibear top, um, nothing else is coming to Cho'Gath, you know, just the stuff like that that aren't really carries top lane. Um, I would say do it with the AD carry. Why? Because you can TP down and just affect the map. You can also just walk down there and affect the, affect the bot side, right? You're a tank. You don't really need CS as much. And when you're going to roam and get that AC ahead, you're then able to peel the mid to late game, right? Ribbon, Aatrox, they can peel, but it's not really like, if five players shoot them, they're probably gonna explode, right? But if you're playing that Cho'Gath, you're playing that that Malphite, that, that uh, Malachi, you can peel the ADC, ADC the whole entire time. It's way, way better, especially when you can teleport down every five minutes during that dragon and just go nuts. It's, 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 it's awesome, it's awesome. So I would definitely urge, if you're gonna be playing that non-carry top laner, play with the ADC, you can't go wrong. Next one we have is mid. So if you're the carry mid, so the Talon, the Zed, the Syndra, stuff like that, duo with the jungler. Now, the reason why it's not backwards is because the mid just can't leave lane and go roam and help the jungler, like the support can. They will lose CS, and especially if it's at the wrong time, they'll lose plates, it's just bad. But when the jungler's doing with the mid, um, and it's it's going kind of vice versa, yeah, the jungler can't have the mid laner move, but the thing is, once again, the mid laner gets fed with the jungler. They just set up the wave, the jungler rolls through, kills him. Set up the wave, jungler rolls through, kills him. And now we have a Fed Zed, Fed Talon, Katarina, whatever, just waltzing around the map killing everybody. It, it, it's really nuts, honestly. Um, it's a way to make sure you're always fed every single game. Um, if you're not with the duo, I mean, if you're not if you're not the carry mid laner, though, like if you're playing something like Galio, Malphite, there's not really mini mids. I know there's more Cho'Gath. I know there's more, and I'm just not thinking of them. But you guys, if you do play those non-carry mids, um, pretty much what you would just do it with is... The, the ADC, pretty much the same exact. The reason is because you can, like I said, peel them the entire mid to late game, and you can also affect bot way more often because you can just roam down there. And even if you're punished by losing CS, it doesn't really matter too much because you're just a bruiser, you're just a tank. You're not really trying to carry, you're trying to get someone else to carry. And the fact that you can depend on that person because you're dueling with that person, right? I hope you can. Not gonna lie, there are some duos that I've dueled with that I couldn't depend on them worth a dang. Okay, it was a rather like I just I should just solo queue. Like, why would I do it with you? You know what I mean? I bet you guys been across that people. And I know some of y'all is like, that's my friend, but I do with them because they're my friend, even though we always lose because they suck. Stop doing with them. That's my advice. Anyway. So yeah, you know, if you're playing that Galio, if you're playing that 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 Cho'Gath, whatever bid, play play with the AD carry. That's kind of the rule of thumb. 
Why? Because like I said, you could peel them the entire game. ADC, who's the best to do it with? Mm. You guys know it's between the jungle and the support, right? You guys know it's between the both. The reason why I say jungle first is because jungle can get a lot of things winning, right? The thing is when you're doing with your support, unless your support's good at roaming, you guys can technically win bot and just lose everywhere else. And that kind of sucks. But if you have a duo that's a jungler and you're the AD carry, he can make sure somebody wins. And if you can win your own lane without the jungler's help, which is your duo, then that means two lanes auto, auto win every single game. So yeah, that's why you would rather duo with the uh, the jungler there because he can make sure some stuff happens. He can make sure some stuff people win, right? Now, um, the reason why jungle kind of sucks sometimes is when you get laners ahead, they don't really know how to use that lead. And then it's like, well, I gave you a lead and you're not doing anything with it. But if you're getting yourself, you know, if you're, if you're the ADC, you're getting yourself your own lead and then your jungler maybe has to come down there maybe once, but can give mid a lead. Even if the mid doesn't know how to carry with that lead, that's three players. Well, four if you can include the, the, the support. That's four players with a lead. That's massive. Like, that's massive. So, if you guys can get that three to four champions ahead every single game as a duo with the jungler, I mean, why not, right? And as I said, the second person would be the support. The support just has to run a little bit more to make sure stuff wins. You guys can't just win through bot and then just be like, oh, that's it. No, no, no. Because it's very hard to win when you have to go against three other players. So you're basically 2v5, you know what I mean? So doing with the support is fine as ADC, don't get me wrong. It's just you would have higher success rate with the jungler. That's all I'm saying. And the last one, support. So it doesn't matter what type of support you choose, support pretty much just wants to play with any role that has a carry in it. So ADC, jungle, top, mid. The best role to do it with though, um, like if we say, well, I can have a carry in any role. Cool, what's the best role to have kind of do with, with a carry? As I said before, it's gonna be the jungle, right? Support with the jungle is nice. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. That pretty much sums it up. Um, if you guys would like a list, I'll put a link in the description. If you guys are like, oh, I don't wanna rewatch what you said before, I'm gonna just like, I'll make a list for you guys and you guys can just scroll to the bottom and just, just have it like that. I hope this helped you. If you guys have any other like comments of what you think, well, like I think this role is better with this role, and give me an expl explanation. Do I, I wanna hear what you're thinking, you know? I don't think because, well, this guy's lower ego than me. This guy's not a coach. He doesn't know anything. I don't think like that. We're all human. We all have brains. We all can comprehend. Why would my decision be better than yours if you truly feel like it's something that's better? These are just what I have better experiences with. These are just, like I said, I play every single role um, and I do it with every single role. And, and I, these are the ones that I think that give us the kind of the higher percentage chances of actually like winning the games. As I said before though, if you guys wanna become a Patreon this month, you guys are able to get that VOD review with me where it, we watch a VOD together and I talk and we are on call. And, we're, and I'm giving you notes and stuff like that. If that's something that you guys would want to opt into, make sure you come, become a patron before the end of this month. It will not continue to next month. So before the end of this month, and as I said before, you guys can stop the Patreon next month. Just become one this month and you're good to go. But you have until April to use it, okay? Once April 1st hits, April Fools, you don't got the VOD review with me anymore, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Do appreciate it, guys. Uh, hope to see you guys next time. And as I said, I got some new stuff planned for you guys next time. So thank you guys for approaching this like a coach.